All right, today we're starting off with building six. Right here, right off of the main building, you got the cafe to the left. Building six is one of my favorites. Starting off right here at the end, Josh, the first booth you go into, these guys, these guys always have interesting things. They stock constantly. All the hook rugs are absolutely fabulous. The colors are incredible colors in here. Always something um, different in here, Jacob. Something different every time you walk in. Absolutely agree. Saddle, I mean, just look at this booth. It's got really cool items all the way through it. Um, you know, just, you know what, this is like a, a, a mom and so mom and son operation here too. There's a couple of them that come and work yeah. here all the time. Picnic's at right yeah, there. Let's go and have a nice picnic. It's cool. This is cool. Three pewter pots. Next booth over, we have the art gallery. The art gallery. The art gallery. Lynn sold a couple paintings black in here. art gallery. The art gallery right here, the black wall. I love the black yeah, walls. A couple are missing. Uh, but yeah, you can come in here and you find a piece of art. Fun stuff. Fun grouping. It is yep. absolutely fun. Right across from it, though, there's some really great smalls. Uh, here we go again. Check out all of these small That's items through here. There's jade in here. Oh, there's wow. great stuff in here. Good little singer sewing machine. Singer sewing machine. Popular Look at that fish art glass vase. That's the guy beside cool. him. Sad sack. Sad sack. <laughs> <laughs> Sad sack's in the house. Uh, next case over. This is Josiah's. Yeah. Jo Jojo's case right here, guys. Hey, he's dwindling on his paperweight. Club. Yeah, he's starting to sell some stuff out of there. He's got to refill it. Cloisonne. Um, he's big on cloisonne. Big on cloisonne. He loves cloisonne. The Japanese Boys cloisonne. Fun stuff. Uh, next one over. We have a, an early uh, sword dealer right here. Lots of early swords uh pretty cool piece wow. uh, cool collection over here that is really neat uh across the aisle more interesting smalls compact collection oh, right here in the front compact collection I and mean, look at all of these compacts you could just spend hours looking through these compacts i love in here. the sterling birds isn't that cool that is awesome they have all the bronze tokens up here in the speedo case uh, yeah, just another booth that's full of glass and interesting items, very well displayed. I love the display in this one. Oh, check out the owls. Josh, I'm telling you, these, I keep getting drawn to all of our owls. <laughs> the eyes on them. It's the eyes. Such the eyes of the in. owls. <laughs> but very well displayed. Uh, you come check this one out, guys. This is building number six. What's nice about building six is this is the midway point. So when you're shopping the heart, uh, you, you can get to the swirl pattern on that fire king. I don't know. That's wild. Spray I paint. I don't know what they do. <laughs> but yeah, you get, you're halfway when you're oh, at building this six. Cool. This is the halfway point. So if you start and you come into the main, the main antique center, you turn right here, you turn left. Uh, when you get back to the middle, you can just shoot right through building number six. Great case so dealers. Cool. This building has got a lot of incredible case dealers in it. Look at that. Uh, great displays. Look at all of the jewelry. I bet our mall has uh, a couple hundred thousand pieces of jewelry in it, you know? Rings, costume. <laughs> costume and rings. Next booth over. This is fun. Look at all the fractional currencies down here. Three cents and uh, stuff like that. Ten cent paper currencies. All the stones. Very These stones, nice. they, they draw a lot of attention. A lot of people come in looking for those, Jacob. That's really neat. What did you think about this guy? Didn't he do a great job? Yes, I love it. I like that, and they've been selling quite a bit out of here. They they keep replacing it every this time they sell. A couple weeks ago. Yep. Haywood Wakefield in the back. There's a big amethyst geode over there. Check out that vintage uh, wine cabinet. That's pretty cool. I didn't even pay attention. Is that what that is? I'm pretty sure it's a wine cabinet. What do they got it listed as there? Figure out how to open it. Two piece unit. Ninety eight dollars. Oh, you can use that in the bedroom too, so I guess. Like a, it's like a linen, a linen press. Linen dresser. Or a yeah, kind of like for a linen for a linen press. That's pretty awesome. All right, next dealer over. This is fun because he's got everything in this entire row is twenty bucks, twenty dollar items. <laughs> <laughs> everything there, twenty dollars. That's a, it's pretty cool. So all those cats, like all this stuff, it's twenty dollars. It makes it easy, um, and he sells a lot out of this row of cases right here. Uh, keep on going. You got the gentleman right here that's got all these crazy rings in here. Those are so wild. Are these stives? Yeah, the big stives. Like those are nice early Some stives. Smaller stives, yeah. Yep. Stive collection. Uh, again, these cabinet dealers are just incredible. Backside of the, the glass over here has got all the Fiesta, the hallwares all the way around. A lot of mid century stuff in this booth. There is a lot. And you get the, when, you, when you walk in there, Jake, you get to see the full effect of what you got going on. Yeah, it's pretty pretty fabulous booth, really. It is a great booth. 
Look at those little children's tears, the small children's tears down there. That's kind of fun. There's early stuff mixed in here as well. There's an old, look at the old uh, decorated paint, Lancaster, Pennsylvania corner cupboard there. Here is a pie safe or jelly cupboard, I guess is what that one would be. There's no tins in that one. So that's gonna be a jelly cupboard. Uh, the Fenton, the Westmoreland. Here's some cool sign, muffler shop. That is not a bad price on that. Not like a bad it. price at all. Uh, right here, this, th these guys specialize in autographs, uh, yes. movie memorabilia and autographs, everything in here. Uh, fascinating group of stuff. They, and they sell a lot of items as well. As well, Carl Weathers, did he just pass away? Apollo Creed. Yeah, that's and Carl Weathers. Stallone, I think. It? Man, for some reason I'm thinking he passed away not long ago. Wow. But fun, fun group, uh, and they've got paperwork with almost every single piece in here, explaining where it's from, the autographs, uh, certified and stuff. Uh, next dealer over here's an interesting one as well this guy has a ten dollar case and right now it's really only seven dollars and fifty cents because he's got 25 percent off of oh, wow. everything so everything in this case only. is seven dollars and fifty cents an item um and like those are bag bags full for seven dollars and fifty cents a bag wow crazy crazy uh more more interesting smalls right here from the mid-century booth uh, here's another cabinet booth uh, cabinet booth like this is a booth full of, of china cabinets showcases, or showcases yeah. uh and these guys sell a lot too uh matter of fact lucas and joe bought some lamps out of this one uh, a couple months ago pretty cool i like that one down there drawn into that some candle wick oh, sorry that's heisey over there that's a little oak uh, oak music cabinet with french decor on it that's cool isn't that fun with all the yeah, porcelains it's wonderful all right, and then we go back across right in here to the next cabinet. Now, this, this was here is one of these you just got to look because there's so <laughs> many things, and you can miss something. So you just start looking. There's Halloween. There's Thanksgiving. There's Hummels up in the There's corner. Christmas. There's Hummels. There's cats. There's salt and peppers. There's, there's jewelry. Buggies, yeah. There's a little bit of everything, you know? Uh, next case over so you go from that vintage stuff to period uh, period stuff again I mean, and talk about incredible stuff wow. absolute awesome uh, Pennsylvania. yeah fill it to pennsylvania uh, and that's got that's got like a well in the bottom it's tree and well pattern on the pottery itself and that's an early blue and white scenic pattern probably uh 1800 range gorgeous piece and their whole showcase is full of stuff like that very nice early stuff rarities uh, I'm always drawn to this stuff. It's where I first started buying and selling in a big way was a lot of this early stuff. Um, years ago, when I first got into the business, this is the stuff I was really drawn into 25 years ago. Now, are these seals? Or are curtain ties, oh, no, I'm they? sorry. Yeah, those are. But they're art glass. The on them. Them. That's See really art cool. Glass? Yeah, I thought it was a, a seal for like Oh, yeah, this. wax seal. Wax seal. Yeah, no, they're art I glass curtain ties. They're pretty cool, pretty rare. All right, here we go. Next booth over. Lots of fun again. I like the piggy bank interesting group and then you go right across from it and you got another dealer with showcases in their booth and this is a smart way to go if you're a high volume showcase dealer and you're like man i just want to get a bunch of stuff in and a booth so you can put some showcases in your booth and then you can have this kind of a display you missed an owl another owl right there another right? owl we're gonna have to do owls at the heart one day that'll be a fun video have a hoot at the heart right <laughs> that's probably a pigeon forge uh it looks like pigeon forge owl in there okay this guy just moved in uh last month and great 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 art pottery such rare pieces and i i said this before i've never owned that weller squirrel before that's such a cool piece uh iron iron stuff up through here lots hey here again 20 percent off this dealer's having a sale um this weekend 20 percent off great smalls next booth over and these guys actually were an author of a book josh they, they've wrote uh children a children's book they wrote a children's toy book uh pretty pretty incredible and they've got such rare toys in here too wow that fire truck is fabulous and look at the box on the shooting gallery here wow. uh, that's incredible stuff so neat right across from it now this uh, there again you got a booth that's got a lot of stuff in it look at the top I and mean, if you're getting ready for the fourth of july not for sale oh, not for sale man. the mannequin and everything around the mannequin is 
The red, white, and blue display, though, is not for sale. That's funny. A lot of vintage hey. purses and stuff in here. Yeah, that would have sold this weekend. Uh, the, yeah, somebody <laughs> would have bought it. And just interesting smalls in the cases all the way through. And that's the fun part, man. You come and you can just find all these, these nook and crannies where there's just really cool stuff. Uh, okay, back across again. Another dealer here. There's some silver plate in here. I like the butter molds. There's some stoneware. And then check out the crucifixes up on the top here. There's three of them. And the bluefish. Huh. Bluefish. There we go. Carnation uh, milk bottle there. Look at those. Those are interesting, aren't yeah, they? They are beaded. Bead work. Yeah. All right. Next case over. Lots of glass in this one. Uh, he, they just redid this geo case. Uh, restocked it. Uh, a lot of rare stuff down in here, too. Look at all the Cambridge. Man, that's such cool blue Cambridge down in there. We sold something off the top. Yeah. A lot of Cambridge in this one. There's some Fenton, some other stuff going on. Uh, great case dealer here. And then you walk across the aisle, and you've got another uh, booth full of cases. So pottery yeah you find and these these are the, these are the little you know nooks that you can really get lost in finding lots of cool stuff i mean like little figurine for nine dollars that is such an interesting item little perfumes over here. hot wheels wow. cars beaded purses beaded purses wow such an interesting grouping oh, there's another out well, josh like right here this vintage yellowware um inkwell uh -huh. It was a great example of market. I would have gotten two to four hundred out of that at auction twenty years ago. Now it's retail at ninety five dollars. Really interesting how the market has changed. And here we go. We're going back out the booth, and we're going to go directly across over here and check out this showcase. I like the frogs up top. Lots of small pieces in here, and you can get lost in this one again. There's so many little pieces in here to look at. Um, you know, hundreds and hundreds of pieces in this showcase. That's something. Very nice. Next showcase over. <laughs> I saw three owls in that showcase. You saw three owls over there. you said it. Uh, you're going to start seeing owls everywhere now. <laughs> owls, owls, owls. Just think owls, Josh. More's going to show up. I know. That's Have a nice, nice day. <laughs> There's an There's owl. another one. There we go. Another owl. That's a sewer tire. Look at these down here. Owl. There's more owls over there. Yeah, we're going to have to do a whole video on owls. There's some really neat salt and peppers in there. Great group, great pile. showcase, lots of stuff what in it. What is that? Well, that is a hat, Jacob. That's a hat. Chieftain hat from the Congo. Congo hat, that's interesting. Wow. All right, right across from it, vintage decor. Little candle blow molds in the back. Candle blow molds back there. Ceramic Christmas tree. A little bit of everything in this one. I'm telling you, the variety you can get in any one of these buildings at any given 50-foot area is just mind-boggling. Let's go back over here to the glass on the next one. This next one here is full of glass. And, you know, being in Ohio too, Josh, we have some of the best glass in the world with uh, Cambridge and Heise and Tiffin and all of these great glass companies. And there's such a representation here at the mall. Um, from all of these, you know, false story and just different things. Okay, now this dealer just restocked. We actually were just talking to him before this video started, and he said, oh, "You yeah. got, you got to go look." He said, "There's an incredible sign in there." He said, "It's so rare." I just hung it up, and he said that was made during the war when metal was so hard to get. They actually started using wood to make yeah. their signs with. So that's actually on wood rather than on metal, which makes it extremely rare. And then you got some great art. Man, I love the paintings. That's fabulous. Mid-century booth. Uh, again, man, our mid-century dealers here at the heart of Ohio, uh, top-notch, absolutely awesome. There's a Les Bernard painting in the back. Uh, man, like the enamel on copper piece over there, that's new. Uh, that's not going to last long. He just reloaded the entire booth. Um, lots of fun stuff in here. This, uh, this booth has a good vibe to it, Jacob. It does. It just feels good in here. You know what would be really interesting, Josh, is to, to go and just decorate a whole home uh, with this booth. <laughs> Isn't that fun? It would be really fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. Such an interesting booth. Okay, and then, uh, again, I don't I don't talk much about our firearms dealers because we uh, we are on YouTube and they don't like that uh, on there. So, uh, But we do have an amazing uh, early Americana uh, flintlock and percussion dealers. Uh, all early stuff. You don't need ATF for any of the stuff we do. Um, this is awesome. 
that is the best cast iron bulldog stock. Look at that. That is so big. I don't know if you guys can see that in the size of that cast iron bulldog there. That is so crazy. Uh, this is another great dealer. This, this dealer here has bought off of us at our auctions for the last 20, since we, always, 20 some years. Uh, and he always buys the best. One of my favorite booths. I mean, great Americana. There's period, I mean, there's a period Tiger Maple chest. That's 1790. Uh, just sitting in the booth. I love the portrait. Here's another one. Tiger Maple just sitting in the booth. Crazy quality stuff. Look at the burl wood bowl. That's such great figure wood in there. Tiger Maple. Uh, I mean, the burling on that bowl is fabulous. Barbershop pole, cast iron. That's fun. There's Abraham Lincoln. That is so cool. Lithograph photo of Abraham Lincoln by Cyrus Cobb. Very nice stuff. Uh, and in every angle of this booth, guys, you got. If you're here at the heart, you have to come and check it out because this is like going through a museum right here. This is like walking into a museum. Another piece with Tiger Maple. Now I say Tiger Maple, Josh. You know Tiger Maple. Twenty five years ago, um, nightstands would bring a thousand dollars. A chest would bring four to six thousand. Uh, I mean, it was so hot here in Ohio. Uh, it's what everybody wanted to buy. Uh, if you found a, a, an old an old two drawer Tiger Maple stand, uh, you're looking at a thousand plus every day of the week. Um, it was so sought after. There'd be a hundred people lined up to buy it. And this gentleman here, he carries that kind of stuff in his booth, and it's nowhere near those prices in today's world. Okay. Uh, he's marked it all down. This reminds me of the first time I figured out what a firkin bucket was. <laughs> well, there's a firkin bucket right there. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob told me, he said, go grab that firkin bucket and bring it with us. It's a really good piece. I was like, what'd you just say? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, that's what it's called. So, yeah, that was a little educational time for me. I giggled the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, a lot of iron toys over here. Slide glass lamp. Absolutely awesome. That is nice. And then when you flip back around, you got just great case dealers right here uh, side by side. Again, mid-century glass stuff here all the way through. Look at that, Al, Josh. <laughs> Found another one. <laughs> We're going to see owls Tell like crazy now. Can't help it now. Uh, here you go. This is a dealer oh, that's wow. just moved in a few months ago, and they sell great stuff. Uh, that's an Oscar de la Renta piece there, I'm pretty sure. That is something. Wear that on vacation. That's Blinko. Amazing. There's glass. Uh, just fun, fun, fun. Sterling silver, costume jewelry, Mary Gregory. Uh, next cool. booth over, cameras and portraits. This is a cool display. 25% right. off. They were so cool. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. The cameras are just unreal. Um, Check that out. It's a pretty cool camera. Cool camera. <laughs> shoulder mount camera. Yeah, we'll call it a shoulder mount camera. Really neat. Very interesting. And trains. Trains. We got this gentleman has two showcases side by side. Uh, great trains. Uh, most of these are like original boxes and stuff with them still. Uh, very very good stuff. You gotta love it when you have so much care. I see so many guys come back here and look through all these and I know that they're sitting there reminiscing yeah that's a lot of trains there it is look at that still in the box in the box that's really cool and you flip around and you got another booth this this dealer here is another mid-century booth uh very eclectic mid-century stuff um <laughs> look at it and just an incredible group okay I'm drawn back here I gotta see what these cats are huh those are wild look at the chalkware cats cats are hot if you don't know that um, a lot of cat stuff sells. That frog looks cool. Chilling. Just smiling, chilling frog. <laughs> That's going to be Josh and I next week. Yep. <laughs> when these videos are coming out, we're going to be chilling like that. All right, let's go around the corner. Here we go again. Uh, very, very nice display. This booth is always well kept, well done. Uh, lots of lots of stuff sells through this booth. Uh, very interesting how they display it. Uh, and it's a mix. It's a wide mix of stuff. Lots of whites and grays back there. And then you also got like, there's a great satin wood table, hand painted, uh, just right in the middle of the booth. Like, there's so many eclectic items uh, in the antique center here. All right, Jacob, tell them about these radios. This dealer here, her husband uh, collected radios. Uh, he had passed away. And so she's been selling radios here. Every week she unboxes a box of radios and brings them in and then she sells out. 
And then she brings more in. She sold like 250 yeah, now. Look at the prices though. I mean, she oh, she puts the these... same price on all of them. Yeah, 25 bucks yeah. each. Runs them through and... And they sell and then she brings more out. Yeah. But that's pretty crazy. Radio collection. It's great. So we're going to go across oh. down. Now this area back here is... We're not going to do in today's video, but this is uh, Josh and I's room. We'll have to do that one by itself. Yeah. Yeah, this is... It's, that's it's the, off the building that's, six. It's but... off building six. That's a different building completely. But we're going to finish building six out. Next showcase... Again, very interesting items all the way through. And then right here, guys, right beside this showcase, this is one of our dealers that travels from the East Coast all the way to Illinois uh, and just brings in great Americana. Um, sells high volume sell, sell, sales dealer here. I love checking out the Crocs whenever he comes back. He's always got something cool. He's always got great crockery. Just fun. He has a lots of lots of bronze and, and weather vanes, and I mean, look at that display right there. That's a that's an absolute awesome cabinet, seed seed cabinet. I mean, you could use that in any any house though for an island. Um, that that's cool. You got must have bought a perfume collection. There's a bunch of perfume bottles here. Look at that weather one. Look at these, Josh. Yep. Ten dollars. Perfume, perfume bottles, oh, wow. $10 each for most of those. So I love it. Weather vane's fun, early furniture. Great dealer, guys. He handles a lot of volume, and he, and he keeps his prices very reasonable. Jacob, something else that he does. I love this about it. A lot of times we like to know where something came from or a little history about it, but he writes it on his tags. All right, so he explains what things are. A lot of times he'll have it where he got it from. Yeah. Um, so it's just really cool to check out and read the things that he picks up. Right across from him, showcases. Again, we got more uh, cameras. We have jewelry. Uh, lots of jewelry in this one here. And these guys have multiple booths. Next one. Now, this is another booth that gets a, gets a lot of attention. Um, the carvings are absolutely awesome in here and they also have lots of lures and just just a lot of attention in this booth right here ring that bell ring it away josh <laughs> bing ding 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 bell that big used to be right, right that's right <laughs> next booth over okay these guys uh they sell I, you know when they first start hung these shirts up in there i was like well i don't know that anybody's gonna buy those things and then i was here one day and a lady said i want to see those shirts and she bought all four of them on the racks she bought every shirt that was on display and she goes, I'm a reseller. She goes, these are, those are great prices. So vintage rock shirts sell. The Halloween booth's really cool. It's right around the corner. Halloween and Christmas the items. Blow molds up top. Blow molds on the top. And that, those will all start, all start moving really fast yep. um, in the next two months. We're about two months out from starting to sell a lot of blow molds. Okay, across from that right there, guys, this is a, one of the best doy, toy dealers in the country. Uh, they've got so many rare pieces. I mean, we look at this car. kitty car right here. That is special. We had that car, Jacob. Oh, yeah. I remember that. That was Jason's car. Yes, it 33. was. 33. No, that was yeah, awesome. I say we. We all, we all played with it. <laughs> it was probably Jason's. It was Jason's. a family car. It got handed down. <laughs> but, guys, seriously, uh, the, the toys in this, in this booth are absolutely awesome. Um, just incredible pieces. There's robots. There's space stuff. It just it doesn't end. If it's rare, he's got it. That's what he likes is the rare stuff. Another case over here. I like Frankenstein. I think that's pretty cool. Wind up Frankenstein with the box. And then like there, look at this. Mark's racer with box. How often do you find these early boxes with this stuff? Metal truck with the box. That's so crazy. Super rare stuff. Uh, lots of it with boxes. Check out that one. We're right here. We're coming back on the back side of building six. Um, you're back out in the aisle now. We got more jewelry over here. Great jewelry grouping. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Across from it, here we go again. Bronze, Victorian, uh, country, just a great eclectic mix. Uh, and this dealer here has, again, three, three or four booths. I think it's four. Um, because he sells so much, he just he can't, can't keep it in stock. He sells so fast. And he's reloading today. Like, I mean, look at that lion lamp. That is absolutely awesome. It's only priced for 200 and some dollars. That's never going to last long. Great stuff in here. Go back out of this booth, directly across. You got another toy, toy dealer here. Interesting, all the items in this showcase. 
not just toys, badges. There's all sorts of fun things in there. Um, interesting group. There's briars. Next showcase over. Man, I'm telling you, the variety you get here at the heart of Ohio. This just got reloaded. This was uh, almost empty last week. So they have came in and restocked. So lots of fresh merchandise coming in the mall right now. That's fun. Very fun. Directly across from there, here we go. Another dealer with interesting items. Take a look at these. The blow molds. Yeah. No, that's, a, that's that set right there we had under our Christmas tree for a long time a long, when we were long kids. Time. I'll check out the size. Royal Crown Cola Light over there. That's, that's cool. Crown. Nice wow, advertising. So. Very nice advertising. Yeah. So neat. Very interesting, the, the amount of quality that our dealers have. Oh, Captain America. Check out this one here. Captain America comic book. They're silver dollars. Uh, all sorts of ecl eclectic mix in that case. Yeah. And that's the thing, if you go up one of these aisles, you're going to find something different in every single showcase. Just great smalls. Oh, we got somebody beeping on the other side. <laughs> Very interesting. Let's flip it back over. Again, this dealer right here, Josh, one of the top in the country on uh, rare advertising signs, uh, just rare items. Beautiful pieces. Where else can you go and see this quantity of high quality advertising um, just all over our entire antique center? So if you like advertising, this is the place to come. Heart of Ohio Antique Center, you're going to find a lot of rare pieces. And our dealers, and, and generally speaking, um, our dealers, Josh, really try and work with the customers a lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like this right here, yeah, Coca-Cola. Offers. And... and look at that. That's so neat. Auburn Tires, the Coca-Cola. Incredible, incredible booth of advertising and, and oddities. Man, look at that Lawrence paint, the tiger up on the top. That's an enamel sign. That is gorgeous. Hell car above your head's neat. Yeah. So many great pieces. The big Coca-Cola button over there in red. Badges in the back. Stoneware. Very nice. Oh, I like that little uh, boat motor. Is that miniature one there? Oh, That's that pretty out. cool. Now, Jacob, we just sold quite a few of these. Outboard so motor oil. Man, what a display. Isn't that awesome? Yes. Hey, Josh, this is something that's only bred here in Ohio. <laughs> that's right. To jackalope. You got to come to Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> On the jackalope. All right, back over here, another vintage uh, concert shirts and stuff like that. Dealer handling those kinds of things. Vintage Americana. Uh, again, vintage toys. Records, I'm telling you, our record albums, guys, $2.50 each for all those records there. How do you compete uh, anywhere? To go buy records, you got to come here and check it out at the heart of Ohio. Another interesting booth. Look at all the decoys in this one. I really like duck decoys. The decoys are awesome. These are great. Look at the... I like that scope right the there, too. That. It's wonderful. English, English telescope's really cool. Uh, a couple trains. A lot of these cases are also... They have stuff on the tops. I don't know if you guys have seen those or not, but I haven't been showing a whole lot of the top, but there are a lot of them are loaded. Some more rear items. Great smalls. Look at these leather pouches, Jacob. The leather, those are Civil War era too. Civil War leather pouches and bayonets and whatnot in there. Glass dealer right beside it. A lot of Heise in here, different colored glass. Toothpicks. You flip it around and here we go. This booth is full. Josh is ringing his bells. <laughs> Hilltop vending made out of quarters. That's fun. Just incredible groupings of smalls. Fun stuff. The old Ertl tractors and stuff in here. Look at the Aladdin lamp. That's pretty cool. And Josh, this oak settle bench, is that's pretty special. I love the leather on there. Arching crafts, uh, absolute stunning leather, oak leather settle bench. Needs to go in your office. <laughs> Needs to go in my office. I gotta get an office first. <laughs> okay, right here, again, this is another one of our, um, what, I, what I call high quality merchandise vendors here. I mean, there's Galet, there's French Cameo, there's Chinese pieces. 
um, early por early porcelains, KPM plaque, uh, just incredible smalls uh, all the way through. And Josh, we just had a vendor move in. I don't know if we, we'll show it before this video or not, but uh, we just had a vendor move in that, that brought in, I want to say, some of the nicest antiques in the entire antique center. I mean, absolute incredible pieces. Yeah. Um, Louis Vuitton. That's the nicest stuff you're going to see in the country. Yeah, he's got a, a, a Bible leaf from the Gutenberg Press. Yeah. Uh, 1450s uh, piece, a Bible uh, leaf from a Gutenberg Press. That's unbelievable. Uh, bought at Sotheby's. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's incredible stuff. Okay, this la young lady right here, I say young lady, she's just awesome. Uh, retired school teacher, if I'm not mistaken. And she comes in and works this booth over constantly. She always has a great quilt right here. She says that's the key to her success in her booth is to bring in an absolute amazing quilt and hang it up. And that draws everybody in. And she is right because everybody that walks by here looks at that wall with that quilt. Uh, looks absolutely amazing. So all of these items are hers. And then she also has directly across uh, all of this uh, as well. So the folk art, the tramp art, uh, all these items right here are all hers. Um, here's another booth right to the left of her with rocks and minerals and stuff in it. So this is about like six booths in the mall now that have these kinds of things. Uh, they'll sell a lot. We sell a lot of those. Next showcase over, lots of glass. You got a kitty cat. <laughs> The cat looks real. I know. I gotta. <laughs> you be careful. That might bite you. <laughs> Jump on you or something. Vintage realistic. <laughs> vintage realistic. <laughs> it looks realistic. realistic. Okay. Now this booth right here was just restocked uh, last week. You know, we did a little. We did a walkthrough on this booth. Josh, love the Honda in here. Um, just great sports memorabilia. It's just a fun, fun booth. Uh, interesting items everywhere in here. And check out the toy display. When you walk in here and you see this toy display, you're like, can I just buy the cabinet like it is? You know, I just want to take the whole cabinet home. Such a great display of stuff. And look at the top, here, the Ferris wheel. Isn't that oh, awesome? Is just, look at these. J these are all Chan, Chan pieces up through here, the Ferris wheels and stuff. And here's a bottle of uh, Huffman oil, Josh. That is really cool. That's pretty cool, right? Yes, it is. Man, this booth has got it going on. And then right here, all the watches. Watch display is absolutely crazy quality. Uh, guys, this one right here, again, great display, great dealer. Uh, very, very nice antiques throughout the entire booth. So cool. Flip side, here we go. All the toys. All the cars. Oh, he sold a lot. He sold a lot. He had a sale last week, I think, and he ended up selling a bunch of them. Oh, good. Uh, back on the other side, another incredible dealer here. He always has a fun, fun booth, lots of interesting items. There's always advertising in here. There's neons, um, yeah, cash registers and slot machines and all that kind of stuff. What I like about coming in this booth is there's always a one of a kind. There's, there's always something you don't find anywhere else. And... Yep. The slot machines in here are awesome. Seven up. There's a nickel slot, nickel slot. Look at the old Pepsi Pepsi sign right there. That's pretty cool. Great advertising. Look at the acid etched owl on the side of the chocolate chocolate advertising. Uh, and he's got a double booth, so you got, it keeps on going. You got signs all through here on the other side. Just gorgeous stuff. The M&M's are pretty cool. And you got the M&M guy sitting here thinking, what? <laughs> She's looking at him like, are you serious? <laughs> okay. Are you serious, Josh? Get out of my way. <laughs> That's so fun. Very interesting. I love that Bakelite radio, too. That's got to be really rare. It's in orange. Those are so hard to find. Very interesting group. Uh, and directly across, we have right here, fishing decoys, lures. fishing lures. Fishing lures. That's a lot of fun. Lots of fun. I like the creels. Uh, next showcase over, all the porcelains and the dolls and things of that nature. American glass down on the bottom. Uh, another group right here, lots of glass. There's art pottery in Roseville, Yod Rose, Fenton. Uh, next booth over has a lot of Shavarsky in this one. Uh, a lot of Shavarsky. Most, most of it has original boxes. There's some Capodimani over there. There's Wedgwood. 
lots of vintage purses and, and different things of that nature. Uh, then booth number 6130. This is kind of interesting. Is uh, These guys custom built all of these showcases for this booth. They fitted the entire booth out, and they're full of rare toys. So this is all Matchbox in this, this section, and not just toys, but rarities in general. These are all miniature uh, advertising crockery pieces. Keeps on going. Completely full, all these cases, all the way around. Then you got all the lunch boxes in the back. Then the middle cases right here, they got all the smalls that you can walk through and look at right through the middle. Uh, other side, cases as well. Check out the trains later. Trains on the end. The they just do a great place. job. They yeah. do a really great job of displaying. That's a cool booth. Uh, coins and cars right here. There we go. Coins and cars. That's a good mix. Coins and cars. Cool. Coal bin, yep. Opposite side, let's walk in here just for a sec and take a look at what we got. We have Oops, all sorts of stuff. There's somebody was asking about a crank wall phone. There's one right there. Shutters, crockery, railroad lanterns, country items. Um, very nice farm table right in the middle. That's pretty cool. Lanterns down there. Look at the old tricycle. Tricycle's fun. And then this dealer right here has got probably the most hat pins uh, on, in one holder any, as anywhere in the mall. This is a great hat, hat pin display. Then all the compacts down through here. Lots of costume jewelry. Uh, they've got a little bit of gold and silver that they put in here. Um, a lot of Victorian era jewelry. Very interesting booth as a whole. Now we're back out here to the end of the building. This is our last booth. Uh, and this is what she looks like. So check it out. Very cool display. And that she is... A lot of, she does a lot of stuff. She goes to a lot of shows and stuff. Um, constantly in and out, bringing new stuff in. So it's fun. She's a fun dealer. And that's the end of Building 6 tour. Uh, we did one loop. Uh, one building, one loop. That's what we just walked around, guys. Right here at the heart of Ohio, we have nine buildings, not one. Yeah, sure so make sure you come and check out six. Building 6. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment. We'd love to hear from you.